exciting is this? The Crown City Classic is back. You can kick off your 4th of July weekend with San Diego's first race in more than 16 months. The live in-person event is set for Saturday, July 3rd on Coronado. And here to tell us more is Crown City Classic director Jamie Monroe. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. How does it feel to be part of the very first race? I mean, San Diego is huge. So many races every year, but this will be the first race since the pandemic began more than 15 months ago. It's got to feel great. Yeah, we're excited. Um, our company, Easy Day Sports, based in Coronado, it's an annual tradition. It'll be the 48th annual Crown City Classic, 12K and 5K on the streets of Coronado on 4th of July which the city of Coronado, as many know, it's got the parade, it's got the fireworks, um, it's got concerts in the park, um, and it all kicks off with a run um, in Tidelands Park, which is right at the base of the bridge. Such a great way to celebrate our nation's independence with the Crown City Classic. I know Carlo Cicchetto runs in this race. He's been a participant a few times. He sends his best, but what an exciting time, and just the way that the timing happened with the state opening just a couple days ago, it's got to feel Great. Now tell us the significance about, we hear 5K, 10Ks all the time, but this is actually a 5K and a 12K. Talk about that. Yeah, we chose the 12K distance because the 12K is 7.4 miles, and this race every year is held on July 4th weekend. Um, so it may, makes sense. It has that extra patriotic appeal. It's a little different from the standard 10K, and, and really a lot of the classic really big um, milestone road races in the country are uh, 12Ks. You've got Peachtree in Atlanta and you've got Crown City Classic in Coronado. I love it. I love the meaning. And it's not too late to join, right? P people who are runners, even kids can get involved. Yeah, we're expecting the race to sell out. Um, we're we're trending way ahead. There's a lot of pent up demand, but now more than ever, participants really need to support race organizers and event organizers because we've been out of business for 14, 15, 16 months, and now things are opening up. So. The best thing people can do now is to sign up for running events, sign up for cycling events, or, or just go out to a concert um, and support all those organizers that work so hard so we can um, have participants like you guys have fun at our races. And we've got some video from past years that we're showing right now, just some gorgeous views. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting outside my office in Coronado and right behind me is the uh, the streets where the parade's at, that grass median behind me is, is lined with thousands and thousands of people. So. People come over in the morning, they run the streets of Coronado, and then they come back and they relax in the lawn right behind me and, and watch the parade. So it'll be a great, exciting return to normalcy in Coronado this year. I think you said it right. A lot of people have like pent up energy. They haven't been able to race. There's nothing quite like, I've done one marathon in my life, and there is nothing quite like that energy and the excitement you feel when you're running in a race and there are crowds all around you. Yeah, so you can find out all the information at runcoronado.com. All finishers get this very patriotic finishers medal. Love it. Um, normal to most races, but it, it's it's going to have everything. You're just going to go have the food and the drink and the medals and the t-shirts and, and and more than anything, anything, it's a time for you to get your group together, have some fitness, kick off Fourth July weekend um, before enjoying yourself at the beach or watching the parade. And really such a milestone, that medal, more significant than most because this will be the very first race here in San Diego since the pandemic. Well, well, you know, it's shameless promotion for us, but there's <laughs> going to be only one chance in San Diego County to run the first ba first race back after the pandemic, and that's, that's our race. So that's true. If you're, if you're a runner, you should say that you ran the first race back when things <laughs> exactly. opened up, and that's the Crown City Classic. Yeah, maybe I'll sign up. That sounds like a, a nice, fun fact to have. Thank you so much, Jamie. <laughs> Appreciate it. And uh, if you're out there and you want to get involved, the Crown City Classic 5K and 12K runs are on July 3rd. They start and finish at Tidelands Park in Coronado on Coronado for some of you. For more information, go to crowncityrun.com.